Good evening, everyone. Hey, it's Linda Anderson here from Linda Lou Creates. Um, tonight j might just be a bit of a noisy Facebook Live because um, I just got a lot of noisy things <laughs> going on around me tonight. Um, so anyway, first of all, uh, welcome to day five. And I just, you know, five golden rings, right? So I thought I'd do a little metallic here. Uh, the issue with this the foil paper is it really uh, does a glare throws a glare so um, I wanted to make sure too that you can see all this beautiful embossing because this is the card that I'm going to show you today um, here of course I did the grays with basic gray smoky slate threw in a little Mary Merlot just for fun and um, I'm gonna and then this is the silver foil uh, I'm gonna change it up even more for you and um, Hopefully you'll like the color combo that I picked to do this uh, this card. So here we go. I'm thinking tropical is what I was thinking whenever I picked my colors for the one that I'm going to demonstrate for you. So let me bring those in. And that's my envelope. I already stamped something on it, so we'll get to that. So here are my colors for a Christmas card. Yes. Um, let me just move this out of the way because like I say it's going to create such a glare. <clears throat> I've got Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo. How nuts is that? So let's see. Let's see how awesome this looks. Uh, the, the metallic that I have, these this is the brushed metallic cardstock and um, I just grabbed whatever, I, I think that's the bronze color that's in there. So um, Anyway, that's what I'm using here. Hang on a second. Let me just try and close my door again. I have um, cats that I that don't like it when I have my door shut to my room. So hopefully they'll leave me alone now. So Okay, sorry. Thanks for that. All right, let's get going on the measurements here. I have a card base of Bermuda Bay, and it is 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. Inside... <clears throat> my greeting. Let me show you the stamp set that I used for the greeting in the trees. It is this snow wonder. Um, I am a sucker for anything that is uh, has snowmen on it. So I, of course I had to get this set. So uh, that's the what I'm using for the sentiments. Um, also I have another piece of Whisper White that is five and a quarter by four and that is the one that will go on the outside here. This little strip of Bermuda Bay is uh, one inch by five and a quarter. All right. The Coastal Cabana is, let me think here, it is three inches across and four and a half inches long. All right. The Flirty Flamingo is just a little bit wider or uh, bigger than that. And so it's three and an eighth by four and five eighths. Okay. The metallic, this is one and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so let me just kind of do some quick things here. Oh, my sentiment strip, I just, I stamp my sentiment and then just cut it. I honestly do not even measure it. So uh, that is also from that same Snow Wonder set. So, all right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my strip, my one inch strip here of Bermuda Bay, and I'm going to just go ahead and adhere that down. So let me make sure my adhesive is going to work here. So how did it, everybody's weekend go? Um, I was a little late getting going here. I had to clean off my desk. I've been a busy, busy stamper today. Uh, plus I was getting interrupted by watching football. So. So, yeah, I'm a big sports fan, so it, uh, Sundays are, I'm, I'm distracted. <laughs> so I had to hurry up and clear off my desk because there was a lot on it. So, all right, this can now go down to my card base. Like I said, I like to put on some of those things that go from edge to edge, like that strip did, just so I know that it, uh, if... I cut it wrong and maybe a little too big that I still have the chance to, to cut it off or trim it off before I put it down to the card base. Okay, now what's next? What I did was, let me bring in the metallic 
and this Coastal Cabana piece, this piece that measures the uh, three by four and a half. All right, and I have the one and a half by four and a quarter. I just went ahead and adhered these two pieces down. Okay, let me just kind of bring in the sample if I can do it without causing too much glare. Um, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of why I was like keeping it off to the side. I feel like I need a light um, because I'm. it's kind of dark in my room and then it just uh, really goes off, reflects off that foil. So, um, okie doke. So this brushed cardstock will go here on the side. I then use this awesome embossing folder, Evergreen Forest. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me put that in, that might help. Um, but what I did then was just went ahead and put this piece into my embossing folder, ran it through my embossing machine, and I ended up with this. So both the metallic and the cardstock got embossed, and it's like one continuous image. So I kind of, I really like the way that that looks. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my flirty flamingo piece. So you're thinking uh, something tropical for this, so uh, this card. So I'll have to. I have a niece who lives in Florida. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm thinking of. I'll send this to her. She'll probably really like that. So, so, yeah. I'm always I'm always one for doing uh, non-traditional colors. As if you remember my first day one of doing my. 12 days of Christmas, um, I did yellow and gray for my non-traditional colors. So here it's uh, teal and pink. <laughs> so, all right. So now this, let me bring in my card base. I'm actually going to pop this up. Um, I wanted to just get a little bit of dimension in there. And let's do it. So, remember, I am the queen of dimensionals. I love putting a lot on. So, I always tell people, close your eyes. Um, because you might be like, oh my gosh, how many more of those is she going to put on? So, there. That's all. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I've just been having fun doing whatever inspires me to create uh, with a Christmas for Christmas. Um, so these 12 days have been fun. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a stash of cards, that's for sure. So let me get this down. Okay. And my sentiment. Before, I just went ahead, like I said, just cut the strip after I stamped it. And all I'm going to do is... very. So often I do banner cuts. This time I'm just going to do an angle cut like that. That's it. And I think that's just a nice little touch there, too. So let me go ahead and get a couple dimensionals on this next. And then we are almost done with this card. Now, tomorrow I have something other than a card planned. So be sure and come back tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Monday, so that means that it will be at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, that's Eastern Time. I live here in Pittsburgh, so we, uh, we're on Eastern Time. So, um, yeah, be sure and come back tomorrow to see uh, something other than a card. <laughs> all right, I have these all the trimmings, embellishments, and let me get a couple of those put on. And I'll be done with this one. I just thought it was cool having the um, the continuous embossing. I don't know how else to, to say it there, but to have that go on and on. Uh, it's just, I like the look of that. So that was in the catalog too, an idea of doing that. So I wanted to be sure and uh, kind of switch it up and make it my own, but um, I did steal their idea from the Stampin' Up! mini holiday catalog. So, all right, so there we go. There is my tropical 
Christmas card here using the, the teals, the pinks, some bronze, and then here let me bring back in the gray with the, uh, the burgundy, then the Mary Merlot in that one with the silver here. Uh, like I said, I like to decorate the inside, so I did stamp the trees. I also stamped the trees on the envelope. So let me find the envelope, and right here that is. So it's all decorated up, ready to go. Hey guys, thanks so much for this quick demonstration, and um, yeah, you guys have been great. I really appreciate you spending some time with me, and hope you're having fun too. I will see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock Eastern Time, right back here at Linda Lou Creates. Have a great rest of your evening, guys. Bye now.